Hello everyone, my name is Adam Marie Pulsbox and welcome to a brief tech vlog slash pseudo response video to a couple different videos from two different YouTubers. One being an LG 34UC98 ultra wide free sync monitor review from Hardware Canucks and the second one being the same monitor but dash W variant from Tech Syndicate Hardware. Tech Syndicate's hardware was hardware's video was recorded on April 12th or released on April 12th. Dimitri's video was released on March 25th, and in both of their videos, they discussed, you know, as, as expected for such a review, the qualities and uh, things that they like about the 21 by 9 aspect ratio monitor that they were reviewing, which had a 3540 by 1440 resolution, and then they both made sentiments regarding, well, uh, Logan from Tech Syndicate was basically responding to Dimitri's sentiment that now that people are starting to get 21 by 9 aspect ratio monitors, maybe they should make 21 by 9 content. And I about lost my mind. Like, that pisses me off. Because, yeah, these monitors exist. These are for the top 5% of enthusiasts. Like, yeah, they have great application for professional usage. They have, they're, they're great monitors overall. I would kill for a 24 or 21 by 9 1440p monitor. But they're expensive as hell. And they're very hard to drive if you're a gamer and stuff. And I, I, I don't, I, I just got really mad. And so I just left a basic comment on Dimitri's video a few weeks ago, just saying, you know, YouTube's player wouldn't really work well for the 21 by 9 content, which is true. It would just show it in a box. And YouTube, the player was, you know, square, so it looked weird to show 16 by 9 content. But they're not gonna, but, but. Uh, YouTube's player wouldn't work well for it. Plus, again, 95% of the market has 16 by 9 video, or, you know, monitors, and so watching something that isn't the full 16 by 9 here would be very weird. And then Logan said the same thing. I didn't leave a comment on his video or whatever. But then I decided to make a test and try to, like, prove a point. I, 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 I did this experiment to try to prove a point and to make things better. Or, to do, not to make things better, but to show why this shouldn't happen. So I cropped up and edited some 4K, or, you know, Ultra HD 16x9 Call of Duty 4 footage into 3440x1440 resolution and uploaded it to YouTube. This is just some Call of Duty 4 playing on a modded map of Nuketown from Black Ops. And here you see it has the black bars on the top and bottom. Looks kind of awkward, looks kind of like cinematic-y montage like if I was doing a short film in the windowed player, if we go to theater mode, same deal, though the black that it creates does look decent here, so that's not bad. If you open up the oh, wrong button, if you open up the gear icon and choose a resolution, as high as it will let me choose is 1080p 60. But then when I opened it up in J Downloader to download the file to do some more testing, it actually read a 2160p file. But if I set it to 1080p 60, and it could just be it hasn't processed the preview it wants to give me of the 1440p version, which is totally fine. If I open up these stats for nerds, it says it is uh, 1920 by 804 at 60 frames per second. Okay, so I popped it into J Downloader and I downloaded the video file. I was uh, I was certain YouTube wouldn't actually display the video file at the aspect ratio that it was uploaded, but they've clearly uploaded or updated their player to be a bit better about this. So here from J Downloader 2, I have the video file. It says 2160p 60 FPS. But if we look, if we inspect it, it's actually 3440 by 1440 at 30 FPS. So I don't know what J Downloader screwed up, but it does have the proper aspect ratio. And if I play it back, it is playing in the actual 21 by 9 aspect ratio. Interesting. And so again, I'm on a 16 by 9 monitor. I make it full screen. It's watchable. It's much more enjoyable than watching 4 by 3, I suppose. But I never see the issues with complaining about black bars. Like, I'd rather watch something at its native resolution than something that's, like, cropped out or scaled up, which is why it always killed me back when widescreen was becoming a thing that people would, like, stretch out their 4x3 content to fit the 16x9 ratio. Or here I did both cropping and stretching. I stretched it a little bit, and I just cropped off the top and bottom to make it fit. So the circle isn't exactly circle, but it's not as stretched as it could be, as if I just fully stretched it out to the width. And it just looks weird. And so obviously you want to upload in the native aspect ratio of your content. But 
Again, this has a very specific feel and purpose, just like 60 FPS. And I, I, it always killed me whenever everyone was like, okay, you don't need 4K cameras, go get 60 FPS cameras and just record in 1080p 60 FPS. That's great for gameplay. That's great for action sports. That's great for a face cam if you're doing a 60 FPS, you know, gameplay video. That's perfect. Yes, absolutely. But if you're doing a video like for Linus Tech Tips or Hardware Canucks or my, my tech channel, if you're doing a tech video where your talking head is literally what you're seeing here, I hit my microphone stand, my apologies. If what you're seeing is someone standing in one place, barely moving and just talking, maybe waving their hands around a little bit, maybe ever so slightly showing off a product, 60 FPS is wasting resources to create and render the video and just bandwidth because it's a bigger video file. It doesn't make any sense. You don't need silky smooth motion of my mouth moving. You don't. It doesn't make any sense. Their resolution is of utmost importance. Resolution and actual, you know, composition and other actual videography elements is what's important here. And the same thing applies to video or to 21 by 9. Like 21 by 9 is a drastically different aspect ratio than 16 by 9. The 60 FPS jump is just a frame rate increase. So if you already had a camera that was capable of 60 FPS at the same resolution and you just weren't doing it because YouTube didn't support it, by all means, enable that. People will enjoy it because they think that just because it's newer and quote unquote objectively better, that it's better, even though you're getting the exact same shot of you talking in one place going ah, blah, 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 blah. Again, for gameplay, for stuff that actually utilizes the full 60 FPS motion, that's fine. Not to mention that 60 FPS video from an actual like DSLR camera requires a much higher shutter speed, which makes your video darker, which means you need a lot more light. You know, there, there are more aspects that go into this than just hit that button and enable 60 FPS. And the same thing with 21 by 9. You don't just hit a button and suddenly have 21 by 9 video. There aren't even normal like consumer cameras that shoot in 21 by 9. There's not. Like, that, that, that's what film cameras are. So anyone shooting 21 by 9 would either have to upscale and crop it out. And so the, the only way to do that, you know, they would upscale and crop it out or buy special anamorphic lenses that, like, you know, they, they basically take a wider view and then compress it into that. And then in editing, you uncompress it back out to the wider view. You could do that. You can actually do that with a bunch of projector lenses. Uh, that's been an experimentation thing people have been doing recently is you can buy, like, old projector lenses and mount them to your camera lens, and you can shoot an anamorphic and then stretch it back out, and it looks fairly decent. You do get some artifacting and some general, like, blockiness, because it's not the native, like, you're still shooting a 16x9 video and stretching it out, so for low bitrate, it doesn't look the best, but you could do it that way. But the thing is, is composition works entirely differently for 21x9. Like, you're not just switching to shooting 21x9, and then your videos look more cinematic, you have to completely change and relearn how to compose your video shots based on that wider field of view and less vertical space. So you'll have to get like, you know, if you're shooting yourself, you'll need to get a field monitor and like tape off the edges of where that 21 by 9 aspect ratio black bars are so you see where the hell you're supposed to be on camera and not just chopping off your head or something or constantly like, you know, motion tracking, moving the shot to ma make everything fit. That would just look stupid. And you'd have to relearn composition because composition works, you know, the, it, it plays a much stronger role in 21 by 9. And it just, it, there's, it doesn't make any sense. Like if you're doing short films, if you're doing films, if you're doing anything, you want to have a truly cinematic film. 24 FPS or 23.976 or whatever, 21 by 9, go for it. If you're doing YouTube videos, just average Joe YouTube videos, especially gaming YouTube videos, unless you're gaming at 21 by 9, don't do it. 60 FPS, 30 FPS, 16 by 9, 1080p, 1440p, 4K. I don't give a crap. 8K if you know if you're in the future and coming back to stamp, stomp, stomp on us plebeian YouTubers. I don't know what I'm saying, but like just because there's a new format out there doesn't mean you should be producing in it, especially when something like 21 by 9 aspect ratio is only ever going to dominate for at least the foreseeable next five, maybe even ten years. Until we like mass adopt that format as a new format, which I don't see happening because not even all movies are 21 by 9. Like their aspect ratios don't read 21 by 9. It's like 1.15 to 1 and all these other aspect ratios that go into films because it's creative freedom. And so uh, it, it's only ever going to be a small portion of the market and it's going to be fairly awkward to actually watch for a lot of us.
Now to test, I, I don't know if I actually mentioned this, and I did want to clarify, because I can't show this on the screen here, but I'll try to get some like camera b-roll of it, is to for this test, my, my big issue was I didn't think the YouTube player, when it went full screen on a 21 by 9 monitor, I didn't think it actually changed the player size to only take up the space of the video. I thought it'd still force black bars because that's how the player kind of works. Well, they've, again, they've since updated it, and I used the NVIDIA control panel. Uh, this is GeForce Experience. I opened up NVIDIA control panel and forced a custom resolution here of 3440 by 1440 and put it full screen, and it did work. So like I said, my me trying to prove a point didn't work out, but I, I think what I still have to say about this still stands, and so I don't want to see this be a trend, because that really bugged me when everyone said, like, not a lot of people did it, like, even, like, the Linus Tech Tips channel, they still put their priority on 4K video to future-proof it, and I, I, I appreciate that decision, but a lot of viewers and a lot of people in general just kind of thought it would be neat, excuse me, it would be neat to, instead of doing 4K, because 4K doesn't matter, to do 60 FPS, when... Frankly, there's a lot of people who can't notice 60 FPS. There's a lot of people who can't notice 4K. There's a lot of people who won't ever use 4K. But that's a more relevant number. Like, for YouTube content, for content that needs displayed somewhere, you need higher resolution for future-proofing, for looking good on different devices, for commercial viability of their art or of their creations. Whereas 60 FPS just makes it look slightly smoother for some people and on other formats would never be displayed. And again, requires different shutter speeds and different lighting and things like that. So, just a little ranty vlog here. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash the like button. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. This may be a little controversial. I'm sorry. And I will catch you in the next one. And yes, I would still very much like a 21x9 monitor, but I'm not going to be making videos in 21x9 because that would not be useful for anyone who doesn't have a 21x9 monitor. And I would be surprised if more than like two of my subscribers actually had a 21 by 9 monitor.